Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the National Guard Products 157MA. This is a piece of perimeter gasket and can also be used as an astragal. You do see them as astragals as well, but most commonly as perimeter gasketing. Uh, the 157 is magnetic uh, in nature. Inside of this sleeve that here that is here is a continuous length of of, of low force magnet. Um, and why is that useful or impressive or advantageous? Well, if you have a metal clad door or a steel door, you're assured of this very positive sort of contact with the face of the door. It's just like the refrigerator in that sense. You know that you've got a positive seal because you've got a magnet that is making the seal make contact. And that's what this is. Um, they are available in this type that has a holder and aluminum extrusion that it's inserted into. They're also available in a curved style. So if, if you have a kerf and a frame, you'll also see magnetic weather stripping in those scenarios as well. Um, this client just ordered a 40 inch length. He's clearly replacing it, I suppose, on at just the header. Overall height, Looks like it's about one inch. The overall projection, about half of an inch, okay? It's gonna flex out a little bit. You can see when I pull on that, it pulls that out just a little bit. Okay, and I would say, I would gauge that to be about a quarter inch, but that's what's gonna allow this to work very comfortably as perimeter gasking and even astragals. But I'll tell you, I've seen them installed in, in as astragals, and I was never very satisfied with seeing both of the doors or one door come together and then latch because now we're overcoming not only the resistance of the hinge, the latch, the closer, the door sweep. Now you have an astragal that's making very slight premature contact with the other astragal because this would be installed as a split astragal meaning it's split where you have one on each door and that tendency for it to get that door really close to closing and now it's starting to grab already then you're pushing it even further so I have seen it and um, while it may not be necessarily ideal for your application it may be ideal if you've got a manual door uh, a pair of doors on the back of a building that are never used and will always be manually reclosed and are not a path of emergency egress. Well, actually, that, that doesn't matter. They can be a path of emergency egress in the sense that they can have gasketing, magnetic gasketing. But if it's not maybe a path of it being, it may be a, if it's not a fire rated door, and I don't know if this is listed, it is, it is listed for use on fire doors. As long as your application is still latching, you're okay. But if you're gonna be manually getting the door closed and securing it, you know, you might opt for the fact that it may not operate as smoothly as other split astragal installations because of those two magnets wanting to do this over the entire height of the opening. So be mindful. It may be perfect for your application. It may not. But where you will see it all the time, residential applications, the curved style, not this style, with a wood frame and a metal clad door. This is going to go on, in my opinion, on a, uh, on a steel door and steel frame. Obviously, a steel door, um, wood frame, steel frame, but probably a, a commercial uh, installation is where this is going. Hollow metal door, hollow metal frame. Works really great. If it was me, I'd be ordering the pieces longer and I would be mitering them at the intersection of where the header, I, uh, sorry, I did that backwards. I would be mitering them, okay, uh, to give me the tightest seal possible at the inside corner of the header and the jams, okay. Uh, also available in a dark bronze finish. Let's switch to the screen view now and let's take a closer look at some supporting documentation. Okay, here is the item that we are looking at. Now this is listed in the site in lengths from two foot to eight foot at this time anyway. You can order the lengths that you need. You can probably do this in lengths up to 16 and a half feet would be my guess. Be mindful after you get longer than three foot, the cost to ship the material uh, is certainly going to look, uh, that's length, that's cost, it goes like that really fast. Uh, so stay down here in the 36 inch range, getting this way 
um, gets this way when it comes to shipping charges. So magnetic seal, the dimensional properties we have gone over. It's obviously shown here uh, on a hollow metal door um, as it's indicated that it is, and it'd be very typical. Again, I would miter the material to give yourself the tightest possible installation uh, available to you. There is a link below this video here to the product brochure, and that's going to allow us to review the two different uh, types of magnetic seal that they have. And really the only difference is just simply the size and therefore the surface area of the um, seal that's making contact. The 159 is just simply a larger version. Okay. Another instance where you may want the larger size, of course, is if you're using this just simply as a stop itself. You could have an application where you don't have a stop on the frame, and this may be appropriate uh, in your application. You might have, um, you know, anything is in play when it comes to hardware. Uh, you know, the applications of hardware is only limited by the imagination of the indiv individual. And I can tell you that our client base, especially those that make a living in construction, some of them are incredibly um, not only imaginative at, in terms of coming up with solutions, but inspiring. Um, you could have a metal a steel structure where you've uh, welded a steel window structure, you've welded windows, and now you need a elegant means by which to seal and stop everything, sure, you could use the 159 for that. Um, now, interestingly, also, as I've noticed here, the 157 is available in the A finish, which is going to be a clear anodized finish, and then, of course, the DKB, dark brown, but they offer the 159 larger in the brass or gold type anodized finish as well. Okay. Uh, I had said 16 and a half feet. The maximum length is apparently 12 foot on this material. Okay. So that is the cut sheet that's there. The certifications are here. UL and UL10C. Um, draft rated, sound rated, BHMA certified. Mm, also, installation instructions. These sorts of documents are generally fairly generic. Measure, cut to length, pre-drill the holes, attach. And that's that's pretty much what it is. They do help a little bit in telling you that the hole they want drilled for the pre-drill, or the pre-hole, um, is going to be 7 64ths of an inch for this screw that's included, which is very likely a number 6 screw. Okay. And there you go. Pretty typical material. Uh, now, there's also... Let's see here now. We've covered all of the details here. There's also a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page. And when we click on that, we're going to be able to pull up by means of this horizontal navigation that we have here. You can also see a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to their product catalog. I would certainly suggest that you review the National Guard product catalog, not only because they're a fairly comprehensive manufacturer of weather stripping, but that combined with the fact that they're a ubiquitous name within the construction industry. Everybody knows National Guard. Uh, I've never heard anyone disparage their company or their product line. Um, I personally find them to have a very uh, good product, a very good confluence of everything that you want, quality, value. Um, the folks over there, the quote department, customer service department, really good. On the rare instances that they make a mistake, they make it good right away. That's the bottom line. So you're able to do business with National Guard because they have that right, correct uh, mixture of all of the components that you need. As I'm scrolling through, uh, it just continues on. Anything in particular about National Guard that I would recommend to you? Uh... Well, I happened to scroll over it, and I thought to myself, yes, they have... Oh, okay, so here it is. I have done projects where we have done stainless steel thresholds. We did a museum in the state of Texas uh, within the last year or two that had lots of stainless thresholds, and no one offered the sizes uh, as clear-cut as National Guard did. 
So if you are bumping into stainless thresholds, like you're doing, let's say you're doing an elevated uh, train system of a mass transit system in a major metropolitan area, New York, Chicago, etc., you're going to have stainless steel doors installed in those exterior service buildings, and obviously weather stripping goes along with it. They put that material there, I suppose, for corrosion resistance. Um, and the long-term uh, aspect of it just simply um, surviving the exterior elements. They do have a smattering of bronze material as well. Forgive me, it's more than a smattering. They have pages of it. I didn't realize off the top of my head that they were so comprehensive. Okay. They also do metal vision frames, uh, louvers as well. I've quoted some material with them in that department. And uh, let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, if you have a steel door uh, at all, metal clad or hollow metal, I would very much encourage the use of this material. It's long lasting, it's durable, it's effective. You know that when the door is closed, you have a seal. You're going to notice a, a greater amount of force at the very initial aspect of getting the door to start the opening cycle, you'll notice that. Um, and if that's not an issue, I've never put a force gauge on it, however. I don't know that it will fall below the minimum force pounds required to get a door moving and uh, set in motion, which I don't believe that it will. Uh, interesting concept. Uh, but likely where you're installing this may not be a handicap compliant, you know, it's probably going to be the back of a you know, strip mall where the door is not open frequently or or it's open all the time, but when it's closed, you want it sealed, you know, and this would be a good option for that. Here are the fasteners that are included. As I saw them on my desk, I want to be sure I showed them. Okay. Any questions on the 157 MA magnetic gasketing and a clear anodized aluminum holder or any other National Guard product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you very much. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.